Jewish army. So they are known as army duck. Okay, on top of the hill, front, left, the hill, we have the corridor E. That is where we have our lunch. Again, lunch time is 12.10. I know this for your speaker. meaning small mouth. Uh, the channel apart to the left that is Boca Grande, the big mouth. So we are now the mouth of Manila Bay. There are five islands at the mouth of Manila Bay and for 11 attacks. Now aside from these four islands at the mouth of Manila Bay, the American 45 on Long Island, 40 miles north, at the entrance to Civic Bay, Grande Island, Fort Meade, That is Ramsey Ravine, but to our more started, that is bottom side, the lowest point. Now we have middle side area. This open field to the left, that used to be the American uh, parade ground and playground. Now if you look far, far, enjoy, enjoy it too. Japanese December 29 and again banned by the Americans
buildings restructures 200 million dollars very expensive when this was seeded by the uh, Spaniards to the Americans the Americans maximum range 70 miles or 27 kilometers designed to keep the side of other ships the first one to hit the deck this one to hit the side so there were no Japanese battleships to shoot at so this was turned towards Cavite. The Japanese occupied their Nazi Cavite as early as February 6th of 1942 and was turned towards Cavite and Maragondon, the Nazi area. Stolly Stadium entitled Open Doors. We open our doors to the uh, Jews. And also, one of the political effects of World War II was the establishment of Israel as a state. When they voted in the United Nations, there was uh, a tie. And our uh, representative, Carlos Piramolo, had broken the tie. So Israel became a state in 1948. The right up of the batteries, the cost spent by the Americans at Battery Way, $112,969. Uh, but we heard $140,105. This one, $212,397. <laughs>
You look pretty little down there compared to that gun, Christopher. A visual perspective? Yeah. building so the name is mile long who wants to live in this uh, peaceful island if you re reconstruct the firing range down right you can leave her we have two americans living in this island now for the past two years from michigan and they house near the water reservoir that's why if you have noticed we have the american flag and Filipino flag here. okay that's the name Upside my long. The 59 Coast Artillery. Their commander was Colonel Paul Bunker, who has now a book. He has a diary compiled by a professor of uh, professor in English of uh, US Defense College. So it's now a good book about the reader. Day by day account of what happened here. Bunker's war. Colonel Paul Delmont Bunker. So oh, it's a long building, see? You can see the other end. And down, down right, you can see the parade ground. This was the center of the American paratrooper struck. They came from San Jose Bindaro, about uh, 60 miles uh, south. There were uh, 2,000 of them. First day, it was 16, 1,000. Second day, February 17,900,000. It was a very dangerous trap at the time because the wind velocity was 22 knots. It would even cancel an exercise jump in cigarettes. Yeah. The consultants from US are taken here by helicopters. Consultants from mainland China also on helicopters. They leave Manila at 8, they return to Manila at 12 noon for lunch. Change your park hotel. And the Americans used to have a movie house here. The one being uh, reinforced now. The last film show there was no more. Gone with the wind. <laughs> At one side, there was also a Tagalog movie house. The last film show there was Arimunding Munding. Okay, Rock Force Monument with American and Filipino flag in honor to the Americans who came back to recapture Corridor, the Rock Force. And we had the monument in honor of only one Filipino, Ian Duloxin. Yeah, Ian Duloxin. Now they designed the dome as open at the center to signify hope through the deeds of those who and died and new life has been opened for us to live in. Underneath that is an altar. And uh, the sunlight, noontime sunlight of May 6th, will shine at the 
the center of the altar, noon time. And beyond, beyond that dome, we have on the walls the different defenses of the Pacific area, from Pearl Harbor to the final battles of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You're not being, being tolerant or politically correct. Christopher and I are off the beaten path. Too many tourists.
Republic Japanese. It was only in uh, 1909 that this was put under Cavite. So up to now, many even Filipinos have mistaken it, that this is under the jurisdiction of Bataan. Because when we have a tour of Bataan, we mention Corridor. We have a tour of Corridor, we mention Bataan. And they are together. Uh, closer to Bataan. Uh, just three miles across. From Pier to Pier of Marveles, seven for Catholic, for Protestants, and for the Jews. We have seen American guns. This time, we have guns of this Spaniard standing. The Americans use them as long post. These two. One, two. Those are the type of guns the Spaniards had. Remember when you had the American Commodore George Dewey attack Manila, Battle of Manila Bay. May 1, 1898. Commodore Dewey won in that battle and he promoted himself to an admiral the following day. Okay, the uh, flag which came from Spanish warship me never called them down. March 2, 1945. The ruins to your right. Those were then for senior officers with families. Notice they have chimneys. We do not have winter in the Philippines. But they have chimneys in the quarters. Behind that, a uh, big swimming pool and a nine hole golf course. Yeah. We have three towers actually here in front. In front. And then seven out of the eight guns were blown out of the mounds. The magazines on both sides also exploded. One of the guns was blown up to the golf course, 150 yards away from its mound. Only one gun came beside you that may say, he wrote, and I quote, to the President of the United States of America, with broken heart and head bowed in sadness, but not in shame, I report to your Excellency that today I must arrange them for the surrender for the fortified islands of Manila Bay. There is a limit to you how much that. I say the third because the first one was tested at a lot of border of July 16, 1925, called Lake Jumbo. The second atomic bomb called Lake Unicoi was stuck in Hiroshima August 6, 1945. The third bomb was the Afghan was stuck in Alasaki. By August 15, Emperor Hirohito announced that they are going to surrender. But it was on September 2nd when they signed the formal surrender to welcome for the battleship Missouri. Now General Winlight presided over that ceremony which lasted for 13 minutes. He used five pens to sign the surrender instruments. The first pen was presented to General Wainwright on September 2, 1935, but formally surrendered inside Camp John Hay, American uh, base in Baguio City, September 3, 1945. So we have General Jotam Wainwright. Yeah. After the surrender of Yamashita, he was thrown back to the United States. 
Although he surrendered, he was considered a hero by the Americans. He was given a floral parade from the airport to the White House. He was uh, promoted to four-star rank general, and he was given the highest award an American can receive, Congressional Medal of Honor. He died eight years to the day at the end of World War II. Chinese tailoring shop, Chinese technology, and the Philippine and the Mexican operates the Cut Fight Arena. Old Catholic Church, reconstructed in 1989 on the same spot by the Spaniard Chaday Catholic Church, San Jose. And at Darwin, but Darwin on that day was at the rate, so they landed 50 miles of Darwin, Bachelor Airfield. From Bachelor Airfield, another plane pulled them to Alice Spring. From Alice Spring, Narugay Strain to Adelaide. It was in Adelaide where they were met by 60 reporters covering the Pacific War. And he told them, the President of the United States ordered me to break through the Japanese lines and proceed from Korea to Australia in order, as I understand it, of organizing the American offensive against Japan. The primary object of this is the release of the Philippines. I came through and I shall return from Brisbane to Melbourne. While in Melbourne, he was offered by rich Australians the mansions, but he declined. He stayed in stay at Minsi's Hotel. And from Melbourne to the Philippines, two years, from 1942 to 1945. Yes, he returned to this island, March 2nd, 1945. He left March 11, 1942. He returned March 2, 1945, two years after. The last time he was here, July 11, 1961. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's 98. So that is what we are celebrating nowadays as Independence Day, June 12. But July 4 is still celebrated as Filipino American Friendship Day. Now a few minutes for you to take pictures of the general with the general and then we have lunch. Remember lunch 12:10. Corridor 1890-1895 model guns. Now when the Americans came back to recapture this, the Japanese refused to go out and fight. They were inside. So what the Americans did, they poured oil and gasoline and set this island on fire. 
after a week they returned. They found the uh, 500 Japanese burn bodies inside in one American. The American must be their servant. Prisoners of war. February of 1945. Now, Wind Corridor surrendered to the Japanese on May 6, 1942. The three other uh, islands also surrendered. Corridor was then the command post. and commander Dito. The commander was in this island, so the three other islands surrendered. Yeah, you know, let me put my finger in there so you get an idea how deep that is. Yeah. I got an indigenous creature here. Oh, here's his son. Ah, oh, little froggy. There's the son, and here's the dad. Whoa! Hey, buddy. What's up? You look like Sleeping? a big. Look like a big pile of shit. <laughs> Sleeping? You can take as many pictures as you can in three minutes at a time. <laughs> 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 I mean, I click you now. 1992. We have been revolts against Spain. Why am I that long? Because the Spaniards were busy subduing the uh, babies in Manila. So, they didn't uh, care about the going in Bohol. We were occupied by the British 1762 to 1764.
Nagulat daw siya. Oo, uh, just ako talk. 